Ladies and gentlemen, I have been to Bhiwali, I have been on this stage in this hall representing big hospitals. Earlier it was Paris Hospital, then Artemis Hospital as head marketing. I feel special pleasure in presenting to you a hospital which is not in the same size as these big daddies of the Indian healthcare. But it is of paramount importance to every person who is involved in healthcare to understand how RV Hospital has not only withstood the onslaught of the ever competitive market of Gurgaon. Lots of people who are sitting here, you are lucky because the healthcare of Gurgaon is sick today. The big names that you always recognize they are in very bad shape. A city which had almost nothing six years back, today has 3,000 beds. Today you can't believe there is Ashok Vath, there, there is Vinod Rena. You talk of neurosurgery, there is V.S. Mehta, there is Sandeep Vesh, there is Rana Patel, there is Ajay Namja. Every one kilometer, and you have the biggest names in the Indian healthcare. What big name? What bigger name than Naresh Trihan? Now, how can somebody compete with such an onslaught? I will just show you in 10 minutes what RVE did. Before beginning, let me tell you, my association with Dr. Vikram dates back more than a decade. Since 1999, 2000, I've been associated with him. I'll tell you a very you know, interesting anecdote. When I was head marketing at Paris Hospital, so my managing director and the top management, they hired three surgeons at a combined salary of 5 lakh rupees. Three months down the line, and you know, the burden always comes on the marketing department, so they called me up and they said, you know, these doctors are not even recovering their own salaries. So he said, what's the solution? I said, I'll get one surgeon to the hospital. He said, who's that? I said, Dr. Vikram Yadav. He said, but he who practices in older part of the program. I said, it doesn't matter. Okay, how much will he, salary will he get? I said, no salary. He's capable of earning for himself. He was shocked. He said, then what will he take? I said, nothing. He'll take a room for two hours every, you know, Saturday. He said, just one Saturday, he thought maybe just, you know, surgeon will come and sit here. You would not believe the first month itself, the check that Dr. Vikram picked up was in excess of 5 lakh rupees. That's what you call the skills of a person, the base of a person, the connections. So with that I begin, uh, you know, this small presentation. This is about the state of Gurgaon healthcare. It's always interesting for people to know what is happening around you because the same thing might happen in Bhivari, not tomorrow, maybe in five years time. And how, what is the position of RV hospital in this competitive market? I'll just see a small video about Gurgaon. You all know Gurgaon. You keep going over there. A little farming village on the outskirts of the capital will transform into one of Asia's most sought-after commercial hubs. Once a dusty suburb, it now epitomizes the opposite, a millennium city by the name of Gurgaon. Gurgaon represents a new face of India. The pulsating urban landscape is filled with impressive industrial structures, all competing for a place on the glimmering skyline. As I said, Gurgaon has the best hospitals, it has got the best doctors who are practicing. The one that is on your left hand screen is the newer part. There are the big daddies sitting. Medanta, which has 1500 beds, 700 of them have been commissioned so far. There is Artemis with its 250 beds, Paris with its 250 beds. Now what you see on your right hand side were the smaller but the early erstwhile big players, the Kalyanis, the Sheetlas, the Sethis, all these players. Today they are all in difficulty. 
there's only one place standing on in the older part of Gurgaon which is not only profitable but which is overflowing with patients and that is RV hospital which has got 100 beds. Now what is the hospital? It, doesn't, it is not housed in a 10 acre plot. This is uh, probably a 1200 or a 1500 yard uh, facility. As you can see, you know, the hospital doesn't have any parking space. Uh, all, all the space is reserved for treating the patients. Now that's, that's something that you all know is what is to be done in a private sector with the rising lands. Now what makes RV successful? Yes, it has got a nice infrastructure. So when there was a time for the existing bill players to renovate themselves, to change with the changing times, they didn't. RV was lucky, it was coming up in the year 2010. It saw the writing on the wall. It created an infrastructure which the people now expect. It has got adequate technology, not overboard technology, and I'll explain how. It has been able to manage costs, so virtually most of the laparoscopic surgeries can still be done at 25,000 rupees, whereas the big players are charging anywhere from 1 lakh plus to now Fortis, which has come up 2 lakh, 3 lakh, any, any amounts. It has done a good and effective marketing, but the most important for any healthcare facility to be successful is great medical outcomes, great results. That is the thing that Dr. Vikram will be showing in his case presentation, what kind of work they are doing and how they are able to achieve these results. Now this is the facility, I'll quickly run through it. Uh, for all those who haven't seen the facility, this is how it looks. It's a compact facility by modern amenities. The staffing has been done, a lot of quality staffing. Uh, they, they undergo regular training. Patient comforts have been the special focus, so even though we get a large number of rural patients, but they're given the ultimate comforts. The appropriate diagnostics, hospital has a spiral dual source, uh, dual slice CT scan, which is sufficient to do most of the procedures, the kind of cases that we get. A color doctor with an echocardiogram facility, we have a visiting cardiologist to us who comes daily to do all these echo facilities, and of course we have a full-time radiologist to carry out the ultrasound scans. Now this is the most important thing, being a surgeon and Dr. Vikram is credited with doing the highest number of surgeries in the city of Gurgaon in the last 10 years, he's probably done more than 30,000 surgeries. His typical day includes doing about 10 to 15 surgeries. In, in, before the RV days he was moving between nursing home and to nursing home finishing surgeries. So when he came up with his own hospital, this is one thing which was not present, not even at Paris Hospital. They don't have a modular OT. So a modular OT just to reduce the infection rates, that was the first thing that was on his list. Yes, as Dr. Rajiv said, sitting here would agree with me, a surgeon's delight is uh, to get harmonics. Now this is uh, the costly equipment. Uh, Dr. Vikram had an interesting tale to tell about this that his proxist told him never to go for this equipment because once you start using it, you will not be able to do surgeries without this. Now, a modular ICU, Dr. Vivek Saluja, our chief uh, anesthetist and in charge of critical care is present here today. He uh, takes care of uh, this wonderful ICU which has uh, 15 beds. Uh, all, all latest equipments have been installed. So we are capable of taking care of the most critical patients without saying that our costs are less than half of what the other hospitals are charging in the ICU. The mother of Dr. Renu Yadav, who is uh, the chief gynecologist at the hospital, has a fully functional mother and child unit with infertility facilities, you know, backed by a neonatal ICU and pediatric ICU. Now this is an interesting thing, you know, I've been telling uh, a lot of my uh, associate clients that buy this ambulance and they say how much it will cost, I tell them 12 lakh rupees. Dr. Vikram didn't ask me again, I told him a hoarding in Burgaon costs you 3 lakh rupees a month, so this kind of ambulance is an absolute must, of course it does much more than just being a hoarding for the hospital. All critical patients are picked up by this ambulance which is fully equipped. But the most important thing, you know, you can build a building, you can install equipment, that's a very easy job. What's important is to create a team to make sure that your team is happy and satisfied with what uh, they, the kind of work that they get at the hospital and uh, what is the remuneration that they're going to get. In hospitals of this kind, you don't keep doctors on salaries, so the basic aim is to generate enough business that they are 
satisfied professionally. Of course, the team is led by Dr. Vikram Yadav. Dr. Renu Yadav has the gynae department. Then we have uh, Dr. Veer Singh Yadav as the pediatric department. Dr. Vivek Saluja handles the twin responsibilities of uh, giving anesthesia in more than 200 surgeries, which the hospital does every month. And of course, uh, eight to 10 patients that are always there in the ICU. So he's a very busy man. Uh, he's been able to spare some time because somebody is taking care of the job uh, at the hospital in his absence. Now, there are a lot of super specialists present at the various hospitals in Gurgaon. They are always on the lookout for a facility where they can get good technology, good backup, but at the same time, the costs are not so high. So RU has been able to offer that solution to all these super specialists who are now firmly associated. They almost do half their surgical practice at uh, RV Hospital. Dr. Anurag Khetan, most of you would be knowing. Dr. Vaid Prakash, cardiologist. Dr. Ravinder Gera, one of the top ENT surgeons of the city. Dr. Arun Saroha, most of you will be knowing, he used to come to Bhivadi also to do, now is the chief brain and spine surgeon. Dr. Pradeep Bansal is a urologist and Dr. Raman Sethi, who is a cosmetic and plastic surgeon. So we have a pretty good team now, but that's not all. Other members of the team include Dr. Ayesh Varma, who is a spine surgeon and an orthopedic surgeon. Dr. Anshuman Madan, who is a regular uh, orthopedician, taking care of all trauma and joint problems. And Dr. Arun Yadav, who is the eye surgeon. So we are not doing everything, but what we are doing, we are doing it very, very well. The primary focus is surgery. We don't say we do gastro, we do this, we do that. We only do surgery. That is our forte. And that has been the motto behind our success. So we are not scared of uh, referring our patients. Now, how do you project quality? I've shown you the technology, I've shown you the team. But my message should also be qualitative. Now, if you look at the marketing stuff that RV Hospital has created, if you look at the advertisements, our advertisements are not no, you know, less designed or produced than any of the top end hospitals. In fact, the direction signages that we use have a far better quality, the same quality that the highway authority uses than most of the other hospitals. Our ads are well designed, but they are in the vernacular language because that's what most of the people would definitely understand. We just don't create everything in English. Our CMEs are small. In fact, we are the only hospital of this size which has actually gone on and done the CMEs, which so far have been the preserve of the big hospitals. So this was our CME. We have done almost now 10 to 12 CMEs uh, a year back. This year, the series has begun. Bivari is the first city where we are doing the CME. Hospital regularly organizes lots of free camps within the hospital and outside. Now, if you will just look at the small video next, you'll see the way these camps are organized. It's not just that, you know, a free camp has to be shoddily planned and executed. Those who don't know, in the world's history of the Hindustan or the Vishwak's mind, Chitrapa, स्वास्थ्य के क्षेत्र में नए आयाम स्थापित करता जा रहा है। उसी बुड़गांव शहर में काम नांगल कालिया के डॉक्टर विक्रम यादव ने अपनी लगन, मेहनत, अथक प्रयास, गरीबों के लिए हमदर्दी से एक ऐसा नाम पिछले दस सालों में स्थापित किया है कि आज जिस शहर में डॉक्टर नरेश प्रेहान जैसे लोग मौजूद हैं, उस गांव Dr. Vikram ka koi sani nahi hai. Nandri ji ka vishesh taur se mein aabhari hoon ki itne chote samay mein itne vyastha hote huye bhi ek baar kehne ke unami bada ki nangin kaliya kera apna gaon hai. Unse mera parana lagao hai. To aisa nahi ho sakta hai nahi aunga. To ho dhoan ne turan kaha chai mujhe saap ruji aana padhe par mujhe aana bhoog se rupi. बहुत बड़े-बड़े हॉस्पिटल्स हैं, अच्छे-अच्छे डॉक्टर साईबान हैं, लेकिन जहां अगर हम उनकी चर्चा करें, उसमें डॉक्टर विक्रम जी का नाम भी बहुत ही सम्मान के साथ और एक अच्छे न केवल डॉक्टर भी तो समाज से भी करोड़ पले थे।
इसके अलावा अगर इसी मेहनत से नहीं होता गरीबों के लिए स्वास्थ्य के क्षेत्र में दिल का दर्द होना चाहिए तीन साल पहले गांव बागनकी में जब सोलह कावड़िए हरिद्वार के अंदर असमय मौत का शिकार हो गए थे डॉक्टर विक्रम ने तुरंत गांव के मौजिश लोगों को बुलाया और ऐलान कर दिया कि इन सोलह परिवारों को ता उम्र आरवी अस्पताल में मुफ्त इलाज दिया जाएगा have a look at the literature even the podium that i'm right now standing is uh, pretty well designed every doctor does a lot of good work now this was a patient a very poor patient laborer from west bengal who got severely injured in a construction site and she was brought to rv hospital immediately dr vikram alerted uh, his friends that here is a patient who will never be able to make the payment the final bill was in excess of 2 lakh rupees the hospital didn't charge anything There were some good Samaritans who paid about sixty thousand rupees for the medicines, but the media catches up to the story. So whatever money you're losing out, if you have a good PR, then it comes back to you. So that's the beauty about healthcare. You can do free work and you can still in cash. This this was a story done by Times of India and later on carried by multiple newspapers. Kuldeep Chaudhary reporting for Health in India. Bonulu from Nigeria. But you, you know, ENT surgeries be done at the medium-sized hospitals. Yes, it, it can be easily done. Was she scared before that? And was she worried before going into the surgery? You know? What were your expectations? Uh, far, it's far beyond my expectations. What I would have expected, you know, it's a wonderful experience. That I, I like the transparency. It's um, services rendered with high integrity. How do you find the services given by them? Absolutely wonderful. There's no other way I could have did that by myself. But part of the team. Yeah, we're both fine. Is it feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's incredible. I, I didn't realize that the, the healthcare here would be this good. Managed to get them the same treatment and almost half the cost to what the other big hospitals were putting. The facilities here at RV Hospital are wonderful. The large number of international patients have come and uh, got their treatment done at very very low prices. Since you have, you know, most of the people would not be so computer savvy as you are. You're a computer engineer yourself. How much role did the internet play? First in your choice uh, of the treatment, mm -hmm. and then second in assuring yourself that uh, the thing that you are choosing is good quality. Okay, on a scale of uh, one to ten, I'll say nine. People from Iraq uh, were net savvy. You searched uh, about the best doctors uh, in India on the internet. Did a lot of research. So, do you think this approach of you know first doing your research about the best doctors available, the cost of the treatment, and you know getting all the answers before you actually come to India is the right approach? Yeah, na. I mean, after my day, I was so excited. The way that Salah came with the chairman, after the chairman. Arvi Hospital has carved out a niche for itself when it comes to all kinds of laparoscopic, general, and the complex uh, surgeries. See, I started with general surgery, and I have passion for the surgery. So gradually, I uh, started laparoscopy and complex cancer surgery. 
all my regards to my teachers and uh, you can do only when you see uh, that what the other people are doing I recently visited so many hospitals in the USA I have seen what kind of work they are doing most of the people they are doing the same work but more on the more refined way you can compare your results how you stand where you stand how can you improve yourself that is the main motive that I spent to four visits in a year just to see the advances